Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Owen Fox and currently I'm in Ireland, in beautiful Ireland, my home. And while I was walking the cliff walk today, a lovely two hour nature walk along the coast, beautiful pictures and scenery. I started thinking about stuff and I was just thinking about the importance of actually sharing what's really going on in yourself. Hi Heather. So welcome to another live Facebook video, which I'll share on YouTube later in my YouTube channel. So if you do like my YouTube channel, make sure you click on the YouTube channel below. I'm going to put it in the comment box after I make this video. So you can subscribe there for lots of other videos and content also. So <laughs> Heather says, yay, man, you're distracting me from a video. Or you're joking. You say, please show us how you dance. Okay. Um, what the hello. So anyway. This video is when I like say the importance of actually emotional authenticity and vulnerability in life, but also focusing on friendships and relationships. No relationship is going to be intimate if you cannot see into the person, into me, see, into me, into me, see, intimacy. So, okay, Heather, don't worry, I could do a dance move another, some other sometime, don't worry, yeah. And then <laughs> Leva Gale says, love to you, love to you as well. Love to everybody watching. Thanks, everybody. So, you know, we grow up in a society where we aren't encouraged to share our real emotions and they become suppressed. And this creates loads of baggage. And then we go into a relationship with a whole lot of baggage and we create there's loads of chaos and drama and a lack of intimacy and connection because we don't let people see into us, into me see. So, Steve James, top of the morning to you, brother. <laughs> So this is my second live video of today, everybody, and I'm being a green leprechaun. And I'm standing on Della's bed. <laughs> in my socks, in my socky, socky, odd socks, of course. And one or two of them are inside out. <laughs> so everyone, can you see with a pattern? We get wounded as a child. Society teaches us to suppress our emotions and to fake and hide and smile when we feel sad and all sorts of stuff. Then we get into a relationship and we don't tell our partner we cannot. We're not used to practicing it and living this way. Um, so we don't tell our friends or our parents or our partner how we're really feeling and what we want and need, what we would like and need and how we feel. They're the three things we need to tell about everybody. We need to understand what, how we feel, what we need, and what we would like. These are crucial aspects of what's called nonviolent communication. And even if you just take away that, which I really recommend nonviolent communication, maybe I'll put down a link after this video as well to have a look. I love nonviolent communication. I highly recommend looking at this video, like um, a workshop for an hour and quarters. So everyone, if we are not actually understanding our own feelings and needs and what we would like in life or a relationship how can someone else know what we want feel or need if we don't tell them people are not psychic mind readers i've had this issue in my relationships too i wish i knew what they wanted or felt and needed more and they didn't tell me and it just leads to breakdown breakdown you know a lack of intimacy and a breakup of the, of the relationship too and not that i'm saying is their fault or anything um but it is needed for an intimate, close relationship. So, so you got to become familiar and practiced with this, like just overall in general. Like if you feel sad, say you feel sad, if you feel like it, you know, if you're feeling tired or down, say you're feeling a bit tired or down today or the last while in life. It could be an hour, it could be even a few days or weeks or whatever. It could be longer, who knows? So, if you feel angry, say it, but don't ex express anger at somebody because that's an unhealthy way that hurts people, okay? And it creates more hurt and pain for you and for other people. So there's a way of consciously expressing emotions, okay? Sometimes it's better not to say anything and wait till we go through and feel and understand the emotion and what we need and, and what we would like privately. And, and let, let the emotion come out a little bit so we don't have to like have a really knee-jerking, awkward um, communication, conversation with anybody. 
So, Om Wati Ramkaran says, So true. <laughs> so, welcome, Angel. Welcome, Jerry. Um, so, if anyone has any questions or comments, please leave them below in the comment box. I like to hear that. Um, it like what happens in relationships and friendships and family stuff. There's so much stuff hidden. Everyone is hidden, like just hidden feelings and disappointments and anger and frustrations. And then you have this thing like hidden blaming and guilt and resentments going on, and that is a very big block to love and intimacy. It blocks a really good romantic relationship or even really good friendship or, or relation with somebody. So the key is to speak what we feel, need or would like without blaming somebody. So here's an example. I'm feeling tired today and I'm feeling upset because I felt or thought that you did not respect me yesterday when we met. And um, I would like us to dis discuss or talk about this in a friendly way, a non-blaming way. Or I would like, I would like you to res respect my boundaries. Um, what I would like is for you not to touch me um, when it's not invited. Or I would like not. I would not like you to hug me when it's not invited. I would not like you to kiss me if it's not invited. I would not like you to hold my hand if it's not invited. It needs to be specific. You can't just say I would like you to respect my boundary because someone might know. Like, well, what is the exact boundary? Is is holding your hand okay? But putting my arm around your shoulder that's not okay. So you actually need tangible, physical, exact directions and rules for a boundary. And for the idea of respect, because everyone has a different opinion of a boundary or what, what respect is. Um, it's a gray area, like like I just said. Obviously, really like punching someone is breaking a boundary. Obviously, no one wants that, it's not acceptable. But if you're already friends or being romantic with someone, is if they have already like kissed you or held your hand or put their arm around you, suddenly they change their mind and then the next minute they're thinking it's disrespectful. And you know, and if they don't tell you, how can you know? You can't. So you actually need direct instructions. And it's only when you breach a direct request, that's when someone can really call you being disrespectful for sure. Because you knew the rule and you broke it and it's, that's it, it's simple as that. Another thing you could say is I'm feeling, I'm feeling overwhelmed and I need space. And I may need it for a few hours or a few days. And um, I would like, you not to text me or phone call me or message me um, for the next few hours or few days and I'll get back to you. And I promise not to keep you on a string or like disappear and be unavailable or avoidant of you for a, forever. But I just need a little bit of time to myself and I will get back to you. You know, just message me if it's an emergency or whatever. Message somebody else maybe if it's, you know, not too important. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense everybody, you know, like... There's no blame in what I'm saying, you know. We all need space. We all need rest. We all need sleep. We all need time to ourselves. We need to be creative. We need to look after our physical body. We need loads of stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone's the same. So, welcome. Oh, there, ooh, people are coming to join me. Welcome, Tessie. Welcome, Emily. Emily. Welcome, Michael. Welcome, Kay. Leon. Michael, my friend Roach from Ireland. I love love this person. Very beautiful, heart centered man. Very conscious, loving being. Oh, Yelena! Wow, Yelena! Nice to see you watching as well. Thank you. Quergan, yeah, you're tuning in a lot too, eh? Thanks. Nice, nice to have you join me too. Nori, I remember you. Hello, lovely XOXO. You're the second person who did comma three, and you missed the heart. <laughs> but it's okay. I understand. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Um, thanks Nari saying glad you're alive. And Yelena says, hi sweet angel. Thanks Yelena. Lots of love to you all. Lots of love to you back. So anyone got any questions? Um, anyone confused? Everyone understand? Um, so I made another video earlier that I really, really liked everyone. I'd recommend like watching that. 
that was about like thinking and focusing and thinking about the best in people and shifting our vibrational alignment to being up to scale, like to much higher frequency and everything in life becomes a hundred times easier then. And we get to let go of baggage and heal and open up and become feeling freer, more alive, open, empowered. And we get the weight off our shoulders. So I'd love for you to watch that. You know, it's in my, my photos on Facebook and I'm going to upload it to YouTube another in that week or two. So, um, big hugs to you, my mom. Thank you. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, this emotion, I think Mike Tyson on YouTube, I recommend watching Mike Tyson, his interviews in more recent times. He's a, he's very real, authentic and vulnerable person. He's brilliant. He, he inspires me. Like he wears his heart on his sleeve. And he just said, he talks, talks bad about himself, but really it's real about himself because we all have these human emotions of jealousy, envy, fear, can't cope, overwhelm, losing the plot. Me too, sometimes, you know, everyone has all these emotions. So life's hard for me, you know, at times too, like this being a bloody crazy year for me. Crazy, challenging, but crazy the best too. It's just been a crazy one. <laughs> I'd never take it back. It's been a great year actually, but crazy year. <gasps> <gasps> that's another video so nori says energies are really intense need a bit of a meditation to get your mojo back yeah mac mccann it's an interesting name mac mccann hey hi from boston mm, okay lots of emotions yeah there's nothing you can do with emotions just let them out in a conscious non-destructive way as much as possible and to be very gentle on ourselves with emotions and everyone i ask you to Learn how to hold space for someone expressing their emotions without judging them and without taking it as a criticism. So if someone says they're feeling angry, don't take it as if you're evil baddie. And hopefully they're not expressing it that way as if you're the wrongdoing evil baddie. But even if they do, let them try just listen to someone again too defensive or explanatory. Especially if it's, I was going to say, especially if it's a woman. But even if it's a man, like I've learned men and women need you to listen without judgment and to understand and validate their emotions. And when women, I've learned in my little life as a man, they want you to listen. And listening means being quiet pretty much and understanding or validating, holding a safe space for them to, to talk. And the same can be said for men. Without you having to butt in and explain or defend yourself, just let them express let people express themselves and do with an open beginner's mind. Try and learn. Let them teach you and respect what they're offering you, which is wisdom. If you will only listen, don't be all interruptive. So Anki, welcome. Yeah, Nori is like, oh my, oh my fucking God, yes. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Keep up the great work and message flowing through your heart. Thanks, brother. I love you and respect you a lot. You know that already. I, yeah, we have to meet up soon. So, um, I don't know. These live videos always become way longer than I expect, you know. I guess because everybody joins in and I get caught up in the moment. <laughs> but they're more fun than making, like, my own little YouTube videos. So that's why I want. I like switching to um, live Facebook more. At least when I have a pro an internet connection, which is handy, because when I'm out and about and done with the internet, that's when I can make them my YouTube videos. But I put these on YouTube anyway. Um, but even though they're long instead of wide, YouTube is better wide, but these are more fun. So I'm just following my heart and my intuition. I just like to have fun. And I feel more alive with the interaction, everybody. I like that. I, I suppose in a way I'm a bit slightly like a stage person to a degree. I don't really know. I'm learning. And I, I felt nervous like giving talks before like on the stage, you know, but I feel I'm a bit of a, a bit of a clown, a joker, a jester. <laughs> yeah, Michael says women need to be heard. So everyone, it's all about understanding our emotions, our needs. Sorry, everyone, I don't want to go out with you tonight because I just need need or would like some time alone. Simple as that. Don't need to don't need to feel guilty about saying no. I'm allowed to do what I want to do when I'm not hurting people. But in relationships, we have to express what's under the table. We have to express, like, this can be friend relationships too, or parents or children. We need to express what we feel, need, and would like. Would like is specific. 
we were entitled to our needs without hurting people. We were entitled to what we would like, but we can't always expect to get what we would like. Like specifically, like I would like more hugs. I would like more intimate time. And I would like more quality time with you, my, my wife or my husband. I would like for us to go for a walk in nature once a week, at least either in the morning or after work. We have to like arrange these things, everyone. Life is an arrangement. We need to look after ourselves and to get in the vortex or get in the higher frequency of being joyful and bubbly and happy in life. That's called looking after yourself and it's called not being really dependent on others because the more our life is out of whack by not looking after ourselves and body, mind, spirit and creativity and hobbies and fun and health, sleeping times, diet, exercise, etc. The more we're just going to be miserable company or else clingy or avoidant and unavailable of people. We'll either be avoidant because we're unavailable, emotionally unavailable, and physically unavailable, tired, sick or uninspired, grumpy. Or we will be clingy because we'll be emotionally not feeling good in life. And that's the other end of the spectrum. We'll be clingy and needy and then we get into a codependent relationship. So. Praying is so important for me. I love praying. I pray everywhere. I just even more and more than once a day even. I just pray a lot. Today I was praying in the happy pairs over the food. It's like touching it, infusing it with my energy. And then I was praying... And I'd already prayed earlier, like <laughs> second time praying, first time in public, I think, or more than that, public and a half. Um, emotions, emotions, emotions. We need to become accepting and loving and understanding of our own emotions, of all these little fears and feeling insecure and afraid and I'm afraid you're going to leave me or I'm afraid you're going to reject me and abandon me. Some people can't handle this sort of stuff. If someone said, oh, I'm feeling angry at you or I'm feeling upset at you, I'm feeling afraid you know i know i'm learning i'm getting better and the, in the past i knew i knew shit about this stuff you know i just didn't but now i'm getting better and i'm feeling very 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 comfortable and confident regarding emotions and communications um but one thing that i do wrong is like i become too intense and too much too intense for generally like i can be a bit fast fast moving and intense so I come from a, a an archetype or person who it's easy for me to be self-motivated and to do to start things and I can keep things going. But what's hard for me is to learn how to slow down or stop. <laughs> so everyone's different, you know. Some people are tall, some people are small. Some people are men and women, dark, lighter. Some people have a slower or faster metabolism. I just happen to have a fast metabolism in body, mind and emotion, you know. So I need to learn. To, it's all about balance, everyone. Life's all about balance. It's all about balance, understanding and integration. So you have a harmonious outcome. Because if you're unintegrated and unbalanced, you're going to have disharmony and discord. Welcome, Brendan, to the video. So everyone, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I hope I've been helpful emotions authenticity vulnerability so say what you're afraid to say generally get out of the habit of what society has conditioned you to do and express yourself and admit your flaws or weaknesses which aren't flaws or weaknesses they're just undeveloped areas which you can heal and grow in it's positive everyone it's kick ass it's really fun to grow like someone said to me the other day like a psychic highly sensitive empath friend new friend she says like you know like a little ego like small ego you know and just <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Like, I suppose I'm a bit like Forrest Gump in many ways, like, but I'm very sort of intellectual and maybe sometimes too much. But in terms of the con my own self-concept concept as an egoic personality, you know, I don't, really think, I don't really think a lot about myself and all this sort of stuff. Um, like, I don't consider myself to be... I don't really think too much about myself, you know what I mean? Like, you can't insult me or criticize me or inflate or deflate my ego much because I just don't really live in that place. I'm identified with my higher self more and more and more. Like, my, I know that to be myself more. Like, the inspired, feeling really good version who's a spirit who lives ever laughter beyond the physical body, beyond male and female. So if you say, oh, you're shit at this, you're crap at that, you're brilliant at that, I'll say, yeah, cool, thanks. But I like talking about what I'm good at, but I'd like talking about what I'm bad at. Like, why not? I don't really care. It's just temporary. It's all going to go, and it's just part of my growth and expansion and healing in life. So who gives a shit? 
So we take things so seriously, everyone. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's kind of like wild the way we take things so seriously. So I love the energy of Forrest Gump, animals and children. The, the simple, pure, light, non-egotistical, non-heavy energy of truth, authenticity and vulnerability. Like, you know, peop the animals, they just like fart and poop in front of you. And, it's, you know, Forrest Gump will like probably do something similar to that. Except for the, the pooping part. It wasn't in that in front of you. But, uh, you know, not very, very self-conscious and like a big idea of yourself. But one woman said like, oh, and, like to my friend, you don't really like, you just live sort of like for, for growth and like healing and it comes naturally to you. And I'm like, of course, like living in the old paradigm of like ego craziness, like that's, that's boring and all this fakeness hiding emotions and then like just i don't know that just doesn't resonate resonate with me as a, an indigo i guess you call myself an indigo changing into other forms of higher consciousness of like heal and grow and we all are these things everyone we're all expanding we're all on the upper hill pretty much you know for me in my path like i don't want to dabble or mess around with the lower energies particularly much because they just don't interest me so I don't know, if you're watching this video, you want to heal, you want to grow, you want to expand. And that's what's fun and interesting to me, you know. So, it's fun and interesting to you too, I'm sure. So, yeah, okay, well, I guess I'll leave the video with that. Because I've kind of gone off track a little bit about emotions. But I guess it's coming back to the forest Gump. Simple emotions, authenticity, vulnerability. To, to be, be secure with vulnerability. Be, feel safe in authenticity. That's very powerful. If you can weaken your own idea of yourself as man, woman, mother, father, human, intelligent, you got this degree, you have this label, like, you know, um, mechanic, builder, um, healer, light worker, um, designer, um, professional, just let go of that stuff. Because the more you feel identified with these labels, the more you're going to be afraid if someone attacks it and the more you'll be afraid of losing it. And you want to like compete and be better than other people, so to speak. So there's a whole lot of like, you know, flaunting, flirting, defending, counterattacking when you have a big idea of yourself. So Eckhart Tolle is kick ass for teaching about this. Highly recommend him. He's, he's really good. So when you let go of all of these like identities, self-identifications, you don't take yourself as seriously anymore. You can have fun. And I think Ram Das and Wayne Dyer and lots of teachers would encourage fun and lightness. I, I love to embody and to encourage lightness and fun and laughter and jokiness. But I'm, de I'm dead serious with the serious stuff like healing, growth, learning, expanding. I love that stuff. Like That's like hardcore truthfulness in life. But um, stop taking yourself so seriously. And when we wanting to understand other humans their emotions is vitally important so we need to have the beginner's mind like i said earlier um yeah i'm not I'm not sure if i'm waffling <laughs> but uh yeah i'm just gonna stretch my leg a little bit bell is over there as well again folks <laughs> there she is <laughs> bella boots okay Lots of love for everyone. If you have any questions or comments or video requests, put them in the link in the comment box below. And thanks for watching and lots of love to you. Have a beautiful evening, Tuesday night, September the 2nd, 2017. Lots of love. Thanks for coming and come. And I'll see you again if you're going to come back. Love you. See you, folks. Thank you. Bye.